That's all I got. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's your favorite homegirl, DJ Chief. And I finally got this guy, Jim, in the building. What's going on, guys? And I promise you, this is not sweat. It's, it was raining hard? Yeah, it is raining hard. It's raining hard. hard. It's hard. Anyway, of course, we got DJ Turn Up in the building. What up, party people? I got some new music for y'all. Ja Rule. That's really tripping me out. Ja Rule got some new music out. Huh? Murder exactly. Murder ain't Ja Rule. Murder ain't Ja Rule. Murder ain't ja Rule. I don't know no Who right. would I be without my baby? <laughs> Who wants to book Kylie Jenner? Oh my god. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, I knew you were going to say her. <laughs> Vivid Entertainment, who's better known as the pretty much the porn kings. Like they produce um, Kim K's uh, video. Who else? Um, that weak ass Mimi and Nico. The shower curtain. Yeah, that weak ass video. Uh, and a whole other celebrities. <laughs> Um, pretty much, but they had offered um, they offered Kylie Jenner ten million dollars for a sex tape with her and Tyga, and Vivid Steve Hirsch, who I guess is the president, wrote in a letter. Kim K's sex tape helped launch her career, and that would be nothing but positive for you. I mean, the family's already like off the wall. Why not? It's not hurting your image. It's anything. really nice. Behind, um, Vivid <laughs> Entertainment is in another company called Bang You Later, <laughs> 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 who is. All <laughs> Why not bang you right now? That, that sounds like bang you on the table. <laughs> bang. <laughs> anyway, All right. who's offering? Well, you know that if you whatever. But anyway, who's offering <laughs> one point eight million dollars for a scene that has to be at least twenty two million or twenty two minutes long, yeah. and they promise she'll be even a bigger star than her sister and Paris Hilton. And another um, company is taking an approach, and um, they're pretty much trying to pitch her as a brand ambassador for their company. As long with making a porn too. So, have y'all seen this picture that Tiger posted for her birthday? Yeah, I like it. She looks good. Yeah, but I just wanted. That's what I'm saying. It says it screams porn star. That's why they want. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> I'll look at the water. Take your shirt off. Yeah, like when did her boobs get so big? They got big enough to do porn. I guess I don't know, but I mean, well, yes. that counts me out. But anyway, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> So in other news, Amber Rose's image is used to lure girls into prostitution. <laughs> so <laughs> according to TMZ, um, coincidentally, Amber Rose, she was on FaceTime, and this was like a video that she had filmed like a while ago. And um, But pretty much what happens is you see her on FaceTime and the connection fails and the call ends abruptly before she can say anything. And pretty much what it is is a company um, posing as an aspiring model agency. And so... We're pretty much saying that um, Amber Rose was supposed to be the spokesperson for this company. But what happened was they, well, after the connection had failed or whatever, which happened to everybody because it was an old video, right. they emailed them and they pretty much lured them into prostitution. And some girls actually fell for it and it's just now being exposed. I don't think the way she did, right? <laughs> so basically, and also the latest were told they had to go on a date with the rich guy and they had to make a decision to be intimate with the strangers or not. And the fake agency made it clear that if the women were intimate with the rich men, they would be rewarded with bigger projects, including with Amber Rose. And um, so she told one of the models told the authorities about the prostitution ring. And so basically, they're under investigation. I'm surprised they're not arrested. But so they're so they're sleeping with men to to meet Amber Rose. Yeah, oh, I'm that's like, cool. who is Amber Rose? That's that's a great that's. It's a great life story. Fair. Ooh, before we get into the job, I got some more tea for y'all. Well, not really tea, but gossip. Um, so y'all know how a couple months back the game got in trouble with um, punching an undercover cop at a basketball game? Yeah. yeah. So he's facing three years in jail, y'all. Yeah. Yes. So he was charged with one felony count of criminal threats and another misdemeanor assault and battery. In addition to a $12 million lawsuit by the cop, Game reveals he could be facing up to three years in jail for the um, incident. And he talks about it on his way in the morning show, so make sure y'all go look that up. But um, shout out to LA and shout out to Compton. Um, you stay on that side. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. I thought it was dope as hell. Whatever. Maybe, I shout out to dope. NWA, Straight Outta Compton. That was the dopest movie of 2015. I feel smooth, like that was, was a smooth. classic. It was. But, but, but which yeah. disregards everything you said before, I feel like it was missing something. Why you, is it you're that? You're right. It was missing something, but what, what do you think it was missing? I, I can't put my finger on it, but it just it was one of those movies like, you know, the hype was all great. Oh, everybody like, oh, it's the best movie in the world. I watched it three times. And I'm like, all right, and, and, 
You're not really explaining and yourself though. I just, I mean, like, I like the movie all, all in all. Like the acting was great. The concept, you know, it, it brought the young, the, the the newer generation back, you know, to to what we know, you know, and what they didn't know. So it gave them that insight, and I thought that was smooth. And how they went about it was like real and it was raw. So like, ideally, that's dope. But I felt like it was missing something. It, it was missing a lot. Um, there was a lot of stuff that they couldn't put in there, well, for legal reasons, first of all. And then second off, it was. It would have been like that movie's like two and a half hours long. It yeah. was like, long. Titanic. I walked out like, damn, I, I was in here this long. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I walked in there. I bullshit you not. I went to go see that movie by myself. I couldn't wait on nobody. But um, it was seven forty-five when I walked in there. It was like eleven when I walked out. Yeah. But okay, but but but, but, but before we get into that though, sixty million dollars though I mean, in one weekend. But you gotta think it. about like how, the, the the type of production, the type of. Uh, right, but media. but we haven't had a, a black movie that's done that number, that amount of numbers in a yeah. really. But it's had hype. For really, yeah, it's, really, it's really, like, because this really movie was in media. Microsoft, you know what I'm saying? So you know, like uh, promos and all of that, like you know, and then Ice Cube be on this thing. So like, it's it's out there. Everybody gonna see it. They gonna know what it is. Even if you don't know what it is, you gonna want to know what it is because mm-hmm. everybody else knows. Right. Well, right. But listen, how many biopics have we had lately? We had the, the James Brown one. The, the TLC garbage one. Yeah, I heard that was pretty good. It was garbage. I mean, it even though it was straight to say, say it with me, everybody in the room, garbage. <laughs> well, I, I would, but I haven't seen the movie. I didn't really care for TLC, so. But yeah. point is, I think it was a great movie, Jim. I don't know about you, but we got some jobs for y'all. Because we need you to be employed. You can give nothing without money in your pocket. First and foremost, <laughs> I'm employed. Not that money rules the world, even though you it does. related oh, to Dre. I, I can't believe yeah. that. But anyway, all right. Yeah, so great. Foot Locker is hiring for a part-time associate, and they're located in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Yeah. Um. So you know, if you out there, and plus eleven locations, so make sure you apply to the nearest Foot Locker. You need to make the cash, and a lot of people going back to school. And you'll only be broke, you know what I'm saying, that's lame. But um, the Department of Community Supervision, or Supervision in Rockdale, they are hiring for probation and parolee. They're making almost 50000 a year, so, and that's in Rockdale, Georgia, so make sure you get onto that. Um, Scout Mob is looking for a customer service specialist. Scout Mob? Yeah. I thought it was just an ad. No. You caught my whole mindset. I'm like, what is like, Scott? Scott, yeah, Scott might get you 50% off. Of what? Really? Well, they're looking for a customer experience specialist full time, and that's located in Atlanta. Well, go ahead, Jim. Nah, I'm only doing it if I get three meals every time I go to a restaurant. I'm with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> And um, Ortho Atlanta, they are looking for an appointment scheduler and working on the switchboard, and that's located in Stockbridge, Georgia. So make sure y'all go to Indeed.com. There's plenty of jobs. Chipotle is hiring as a restaurant team Where member. Um, in Duluth, and plus nine different locations. <laughs> y'all know locations. this. Y'all know this. All the places she she looking, y'all gotta have a car for. It. <laughs> okay, but it's plus nine but locations, yes, so yes, yes. You know, it's Apply, probably some get downtown. Get the job and get a car to get there. Okay, for those who don't have a job, Metro, um, what? Like, listen, no excuse, no excuse. Just, you can just get that. Spend the twenty dollars on a lift today, guys. Yeah, Uber. Yeah. Uber, yeah. Okay. I had to add up. Did, wait, wait, wait. Did you guys know Lyft is five, like fifty percent off on Mondays? Really? Yeah, I found that out. And I that's like the ghetto like version of Uber. Nah, it's better. I well, had your ghetto. experience. Yo, yeah. I was so mad. <laughs> I give it worse. I hope she got fired. <laughs> Why? Car smelled like blunt wrap. It smelled like blunt powder. Like. It was horrible. She had like some socks on and some sandals and like a scrunchie. She was like 60. I was like, you know where you're going? She's like, yeah, I'm just going this way. I'm trying to give her directions. Like, no, go this way because I got to get to work. And she's like, no, we're going this way. And I'm like, but I'm paying you. How you want to? We'll turn that some job tips for us. Yeah, I got some actually some good castings. Uh, the Sleepy Hollow right now is casting for an experienced African American female stand in, height five. What five one to five three? Okay. You got to be one hundred twenty five pounds to one hundred seventy five pounds, and no the call time is eleven <laughs> o'clock tomorrow morning. No chief. I need you uh, to submit. Basically, it's the Atlanta and surrounding area. It's one hundred and forty dollars per twelve hours. So you work twelve hours. It's one hundred forty dollars. Okay. Um, email mhc dot sleepy at gmail dot com, and then the subject put stand in. Make sure you list your experience. I need emails. Name, age, phone number, height, weight, and three photos. Not like photos with glasses, but real photos. Let's see, we got uh, Extras Cast in Atlanta right now for this Friday, the 21st. We're looking for real choir members. So if you're in a real choir and you want to pretend to sing, definitely submit. You know, you're not really going to be singing, but we need you to look like you're going to sing. Uh, uh, How much submit? are you paying? 
Uh, it's not really giving me a price right here, but still submit, guys. You know, <laughs> it's for free. But it says uh, for detours, extras. Uh, make sure that's where you send your emails and your three pictures to. Um, let's see what else we got. And Vampire Diaries right now is looking for a featured male extra. That's a good step. Like it goes extra, featured, extra, standing. So featured male extra to work tomorrow, Wednesday, Decatur, Georgia, at their studio. No call time yet. But they're expecting a morning or early afternoon call. We'll work a matter of uh, six to eight hours. And I give me a price. Oh, it's 125 per eight hours. So if you, that's good per eight okay. hours. And they might cut you two hours early. Uh, male student, open ethnicity, ages 18 to 28. You must have acting experience or at least set experience. One thing I know about uh, work for Vampire Diaries is you can't handle yourself on set. Then I hope you handle yourself out the door real quick. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, basically, uh, email an available photo, name, age, height, weight, clothing sizes. Make sure because that's a cool thing about certain stu uh, studios you work with. Like certain places uh, will dress you, mm -hmm. and I think that's dope. Like with Tyler Perry Studios and Vampire Diaries Studios, they like put you in their clothes to set you for the scene. Ideally, as opposed to like bringing your own clothes. Remember, that's like dope. a few weeks ago, I was like, y'all make sure y'all bring extra outfits. I'll still be bringing extra outfits, but they dress you. Um, but yeah, you must live in Atlanta, put a male student as your subject, and send it to uh, TVD Extras Casting at Gmail. Again, that's TVD Extras at Casting at Gmail. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, um, I don't know. That's that's really what's up, especially because isn't it like isn't it film season right now? Yeah, it's about to start popping actually right now. Mm -hmm. It dies down a little bit around Christmas time and in the beginning of the year and then it picks up for spring and summer. But, yeah, Atlanta's the place to be, so definitely utilize that. Anyway, make sure y'all call in 404-334-038 and give us y'all opinion. We got Spill the Tea a little later. And then, of course, we got our Fires interview with Dolly Rock. It's your favorite homegirl, DJ Chief. And your great guy, Jim. And your favorite DJ, DJ Turnoff. We're going to get into this music break. Let's get it. Hey. Mm. 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 Always come out I, I know, I know, I know. I always, I really always want to freestyle. I just, I don't want to make myself look stupid. But um, anyway, we back on. All right, yo, what's up? It's Fade. <laughs> it's your whole favorite homegirl, DJ Chief, and you're listening to Fader Radio, only on Highly Unique Radio. We got DJ Turn Up in the Building. Chief is really trying to freestyle. See, so yeah, I you really every time beat yeah, she yeah. be like, uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, I be turned. Like, I, nah, I be faded. Yeah, but you just sing now. I wish I could rap. Everybody knows it. <laughs> and we got This Guy Jim in the building. What's going on, world? I'm This Guy Jim. Y'all can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, This Guy, J I M M, on everything. And we got our special guest, Dolly Rock in the building. Hey, yo, what's good? What's good? Dolly Rock in the building, man. And wait, where are you from? That's a hard question. Uh, oh, you from oh, all over? It, you know how it is. Like, you be born somewhere and then raised somewhere else. And then, but I'll say Alabama, though. Alabama. Alabama? Yeah. Okay, straight out of Alabama. Let me find out. Of course, we got his music coming along the way. And um, it's our favorite segment. What's well, my favorite segment? It's Fantasy 2, right? Fantasy 2. Yeah. Fantasy 2. And um, tell us a little bit about this record. Uh, I don't know if y'all know who Alina Baraz is, but it was originally her track, and I remixed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, it's like two verses, and I do a little harmonizing. So Okay. That track. Fantasy 2. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was dope. It was smooth. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Hey, follow me on Instagram at Dolly Rock, D A L I underscore R O C K. Okay, and like you said, so you're from Alabama. So Absolutely. Has Roll moved Tide. Oh, you said where? Roll Tide. Roll Tide? Roll Tide. Okay. Well, say it back. Okay. Yeah, Roll Tide. Is there like a certain way you say it? I'm not saying it the way they say it. I don't got that accent, so. You really don't? I don't, but I, I lived it for what, like the 12, 13. Wow. I lived it for a while, so. So that's the longest you've ever stayed anywhere. Yeah, that's the longest, yeah. Where so is it? Moving yeah. around, like, influence you as far as, like, your music style and oh, what you yeah. listen to? Yeah, just my background in general. From being from, like, up north, my whole family from up there. So, like, my hip-hop roots, yeah, they from they from up north, so. So who did you listen to growing up? Everybody. Well, I um, started off with, like, really started off with, like, Busta Rhymes and, like, Eminem. Like, all these, like, super lyrical, fast rappers. Then I started moving towards, like, Lil Wayne and, you know, Basically, those people like that, they just taught me that, like, it really is an art because they was always doing something creative and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Then as I got older, I started looking into, like, Nas and Tupac and all the, like, the older rappers. I was able to appreciate, appreciate it as I got older, so. That's what's up. Okay. I like how, the, like, the newer generation looks back on what we would consider newer generation as opposed to, like, inspiration. I think that's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And so, um, tell me about like, is this on an EP? Are your songs on a mixtape coming out? Not yet, but very soon. Like in this season, probably you know the fall. So okay, uh, yeah, it's just been working. You know, mm -hmm. it's cooking up, cooking up. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, also tell me, so you freestyle too, right? Yeah, I'll hit me <laughs> with some. Uh, Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple treat to let you know I'm holding the heat. So go take a seat. This is me introducing you to defeat. It's so obsolete. It's cold in the street. The devil discreet. He make you nod your head to the beat. You're not paying attention. Everything I'm saying, you missing the land of the living. When money grows, the vanity's given. The earth is inverted. Same old people getting converted. The sequel is side of So when I'm done, I burn down the churches. Hold up. Why? Cause God told me so I know a couple niggas who mob on the low okay. Some real G's that'll keep their eyes on the Joe And run up on them quick because they tired of being po Hold up, damn, so what's a brother to do? Being real don't appeal to the brother in you The okay. color red don't appeal to the brother in blue So the brother in blue is probably about to let off a few yeah. Hey, hey okay <laughs> what, what instruments did you play? Uh, piano, guitar, drums, uh, I played some embarrassing instruments like uh, flute. the trombone. Oh, I ain't like that. <laughs> uh, I ain't played the flute. No, I ain't getting that. But uh, I wanted to play the saxophone, but it, too much. I ain't had that much time, you know. Yeah. You got to put some commitment to that. So. Since so you originally write and produce, do you ever play like your own music in the background, like with your own instrument? Uh, I used to, but I don't have I don't have the right equipment. I gotta get in some real, you know, top notch studios for that. You know, if you're gonna use live instruments. Then, and you gotta have some real deal, you know, engineers, people who know how to, you know, so. Okay. Tweak it down, tweak it down. Yeah. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of that, who would you wanna work with? When you make it big, because optimism is key, right? Absolutely, watch your vibes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Kanye, of course, like Kanye. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, yeah, that's the music that changed yeah, right okay. there. Like, I wanna just see how his sessions are, like how he just go about it, you know? So. I feel like they really unstructured and just, you know. Just go about Just go, it. like. Oh, shoot, it's going to be different today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, you also brought us a third track, and tell us about it. Uh, You know, that's a, if I had to say, like, that's a real, like, that's a real track. I'm talking about some real stuff, you know. And uh, basically, <laughs> yeah, like, that's that's it. Like, what it's called, uh, You know. You know. You know. Yeah. I know, you know. <laughs> now we know. Sure you know. Yeah. You know by Dolly Rock. Hey, I like yeah, that yeah. track. Yeah, appreciate that, was, that. Appreciate that. I really like that track, and I just learned that you smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was smoke smoke? music. Right? Did you smoke before you got here? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Uh, you were faded to the faded radio Come show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, not today. Not today. You faded when you wrote that though. I think so. I might have been. Yeah, when I wrote it. Yeah, not when I recorded. I Here's the thing. I can't record. Uh, I know a lot of artists do. I mm. can't do it. Really? I can't do it. Why? I, I don't know. I just. You feel like you're you're well, you're off when you're. I'm off. Oh, yeah, like you know, I might be like off beat or something. Cause I just be feeling it. Like you, I start feeling it so much to where things start going wrong. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, so I get that. I get that yeah. mindset. Now I, I do need stuff. maybe a drink, or, you know, too when I'm recording. Okay. You know, just to mm -hmm. get a little loose. But yeah, I can't smoke. Okay. okay. To being in Atlanta, how long have you been here? Uh, like two years. Hello. So has it influenced your music in any way? Atlanta music. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, just the, the the melodies and you know, like, yeah, man. Oh, Atlanta got its own. You saw it? Yeah, Atlanta. They got their own. Like, Atlanta, we got our own styles. That, you know, they we got our own. You know. Do you think it's important to like not call or fall into like what everybody is doing and just kind of stick with what you're doing? Um, that's. I don't know. I feel like that's situation. Like, you gotta fall into. You know, some you, Hold on. nobody's gonna be like a hundred percent original. You know what I'm saying? Like you always gonna take something from somebody or some other artist. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, nah, you know. Yeah, you gotta take what you can and yeah, but you then you make. cultivate it though. Yeah. You know, you cultivate it over time. Growth, so. growth, growth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's really good. And and how old are you again? Twenty one. Yeah, the mindset's good. Yeah, you're working for it, man. That's absolutely, what's up. absolutely. And when's your birthday? Uh, <laughs> July 24th. It just uh, so, so you're a Cancer. No, nah, I'm a Leo. You're a Leo. Hey, yeah, like I'm, I'm, Leo. I'm right there at the beginning of it. The 23rd is the start of it. So you're like the real, real crazy ones. When you say crazy, what you mean by crazy? Because I'm like I'm unpredictable. On, on a, I'll say that. Like, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, I'm like 
10 crazy? Are you like 40 off rip on a 10 scale? <clears throat> I, yeah, he I'm 0 to 100, <laughs> you know, real quick. So, yeah, yeah, really, like, I'll, I'll <laughs> switch up on you real quick. So I guess so, you know. <laughs> okay, and the reason why I ask is because, so by your next birthday, what do you want to have accomplished? Oh, a, a lot, like, a lot. Um, I'm just going on. I know I'm gonna have. I know all I can say is I know I'm gonna have had a mixtape out, mm -hmm. and uh, I know I'm gonna have a strong fan base. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, you know, I'm Hold totally praying those things, you know, mm -hmm. come to, you know, come true. So that's about that's about it, really. That's all I can say because, like I said, I'm always, I'm super spontaneous. I don't know. I might, like I said, I might start another band again or something. I don't know, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? But I'm well, always you said start music. another band. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a little band or whatever. We ain't had no long reign or nothing. <laughs> okay. We, we we did our thing and you know one or two shows. You know. Okay. So, <laughs> you doing shows though? That's good. Yeah yeah, yeah. I, man. I, I go to, you know wherever it's at. You know okay. wherever you give me a mic, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. So. And where did you get the name Dolly Rock? Uh, that just it just rolled off the tongue one day to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. You know I just like I, I like the word rock. You know and I like how it sounded with Pete Rock and Kid Rock and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, J Rod. All right, yeah, 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 J Rod. Uh, hold on one second. We got someone on the uh, line. Do you want to okay. give a shout out? Hold okay. on one second. Uh, Carla, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Maisha Lewis from the Fatty Hey, hey girl. Love, what's up? You tuned to the Fatty and Radio Show. You wanted to give a shout out? Hey. Um, <laughs> you said what now? Snap. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, let me ask you something real quick. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? I'm sorry? If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Come on, it's got to be something quick. Girl, you don't want to change. You got one chance to change the world? Come on. You need help? You need to bring a friend? Cancer? Yeah. Ebola? Got, got uh, police brutality? Yeah. Oh, like, okay, we're going to have a lot going on. She said poverty. She said poverty. She said poverty. Okay, okay. Shout out to that. Thank you so much, Colin, for listening in. It's your favorite homegirl, DJ Chief for Faded Radio. <laughs> I like that, though. I want, I want to change the world. What do you want to change it to? I want to be great. Alright, uh, if you could change the world, what would you want to change? Or one thing in the world? so much. Like I said, I just named a couple things. It's so much, bit. man. Like, uh, I want to change, I just want to change, like, the um, the way our youth are brought up, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Probably, you know, education. Just man. because when you educate, you know, a kid on their history and where they came from, that's when they start, that's when they start to, you know, care about where they right. go, their future and all that stuff, you know? So right, because a lot of kids don't, like, don't know their history. They don't know nothing, and right. that's the reason why they don't really care what's going on, you know? like. But I learned about, you know, I learned about, you know, where we came from, you know, and the, the things, like, we went through. And I ain't just talking about, you know, slavery, slavery. and Harry time. I'm talking about, like, Black Panther Party, like, you know, uh, Operation Cointel, like, things, you know, like, drugs on the black community, everything, you know? You mm -hmm. learn about that stuff. You start so caring, like, damn, you know? So, that's I probably mean, it. I mean, and do you have any shout outs you want to give? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to uh, shout out to the kids, Smooth. Uh, shout out to you know the clones, twins, Lamar, Baytar, uh, Jalil. Um, shout out to Rain, uh, Ty, uh, the fam, all the fam. You know, <laughs> nah, <laughs> Tyler Dale. <Dill. laughs> shout out to all of them, man. So, right, oh yeah, oh yeah, my brother, my blur, my brother, Maya and I, who I got started with. So you know, oh, he, yeah. out, he out there doing his thing. He out there doing his thing. So shout out to him, man. Yeah, thank you so much for coming through. And thank y'all so much for listening today. And um, shout out to Snap Click. Make sure you follow him whoop, on whoop, IG. Whoop. Snap Click IG. And that's C-L-I-Q-U-E, not click. Um, shout out to Turn Up for coming through. What's she going to do, Mark? He's turning yeah. up today. Um, is you gonna, no, no, no. You're not going to do it? Okay. Shout out, follow him at Turn Up, right? Turn Up. DJ hey, Turn Up. How many times we did this? DJ video? Turn Up with two U's, right? Yeah, no, there you go. It's actually four right. Total, right? Four, it's T U U R N U U P, right? Oh, dang. Oh, damn, you, man. That is Instagram? What is it? Yes. Is it Instagram? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's only two of you. <laughs> <laughs> spell it out for me. Well, it's four. Okay, T- spell it out for the slow ones. <laughs> yeah, let, 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 let's, turn, let's cut off the goddamn instrument. Okay. T-U-U-R-N-U-U-P. So it's four, Ooh, it but so, turn up. That's like Mississippi. Because turn up, because turn up was already took in. It's like some old lady. Right. You made a word. Yeah, yeah, I had to make a word, you know. And you can follow me at brown underscore eyed underscore killer. And you guys can follow me on uh, everything. This guy, Jim. J-I-M-M. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Soul Code Affair is up next. Highly Unique Radio. Make sure y'all fuck with us every Thursday. Sutra Lounge, hosted by CM the DJ, Princess of the Nightlife, and other Highly Unique Radio fam. And uh, make sure y'all catch up with us and stay tuned always. Stay faded. Stay faded.
Got me feeling like